Ah, we've drawn a weep ninny bomb, people. I'm the procrastinator, and uh, if you actually understood what I said, uh, without having to look it up, and you are saying to comment below, you actually knew what I just said. I will definitely heart your comment and like it so much, because uh, I I'm just gonna start doing that for now. Just saying, bah, weep, ground a weep, ninny bomb. No, it's not. <laughs> Not gonna say anything. Not gonna say where it's from, or what it means, or anything. That's up to you. To, you to decide, okay? But if you if you had to look it up, let me know. I, I would just like it. But if you knew what it, knew what it was, but I even looking it up, we're gonna have to heart your message, okay? But uh, yeah, I'm procrastinator. We're back here with another reaction to something of nostalgia critics. Something that came out, I think, last week, last Wednesday. Yeah, last Wednesday, around more or less. Uh, he's gonna do. A review of Frozen and I'm doing it now doing this now it should hopefully come up before Friday because this Friday is when Frozen 2 comes out so now more likely be at the theater watching it why because I'm curious okay I need to know it's my head on straight I won't know how know how anything goes I'll, I wonder how they'll I'll go because I actually like like Frozen because uh I think I don't remember when I actually saw it last time. Uh, I remember the first time I saw it. Well, kind of. I, it was me and my mom. It was long, before, long after the, it came to like DVD and all that. We had Comcast, and I think we're just yeah. I think we're just going through on demand to try to find uh, movies to watch because I think it might have been one of the few, one of the rare occurrences where it snowed down here in Georgia. So we were just looking for something to watch, and we found Frozen. So. I rocked that fro but I keep it wrong. It could have been like another time we were just going through. It could have been that time, because I might have also been the time we found Psych, the show, the show, the one of my favorite shows of all time. Or it could have just been one of the other times when Mom just wanted to watch it. But I happened to watch it as with her, because family, family movie time. So, but yeah, I, I'm not going to say I loved it, but I liked it. I liked Olaf, and I liked Let It Go, and... Or the first time in forever. Those are the only two songs I like. Well, loved, but the other two, uh, every other song I like, okay? I, I think. I haven't really watched it in forever because of reasons. But uh, yeah, I'm curious about Frozen 2. And I'm curious to see what Doug, what Doug would think about uh, Frozen because, like I said, I liked it. I mean, I, the one thing I didn't like was Hans. I had a. I wish that he wasn't like a surprise, a surprise villain. What uh, should have been more? If they wanted him to be the vil a villain, they should have made it more subtle hints that he was the main villain. My gl my glasses have a dot on them, so I'll fix that. Uh, but yeah, I just wish that he was either not a villain or was not a surpri surprise villain. I'm gonna keep doing that every time I say surprise villain. <laughs> I just wish he wasn't what, that. If the way I wish they had done his character was, um, I can't. Eh. So I do not think that Anna and Ha should have ever been together, because he, even if like he was, let's go with a world where he was not the bad guy. Uh, the line, uh, "You can't marry by anybody's just mad." She spent more time with Kristoff than Hans. And she actually fell for him. Oh, it should have just been just a nice guy, just a, and she would have been okay with it. Maybe for a bad guy, they could have made him be actually jealous or whatever. Maybe something like that. I don't know. Uh, cause, and he actually was actually a good guy, and that way there was no bad guy. Just the only bad guy was technically Elsa. That'd be it. But if you, they wanted to be a bad guy, just like they should have like thrown in like a few hints, I guess that. He was the bad guy, like a few like sl uh, like glares, something like that, some, some evil looks, something. I don't know, just something to make him have looked better or be a better villain, or be a better not villain, whatever. But yeah, that's besides the point. It's what's done is done. Probably, no, probably do a lot better. It looks so much better from the trailers and all that. I didn't do a reaction because I didn't want to. I didn't know I wanted to see the movie until it started getting closer to the time for it to appear. But uh, yeah. Uh, we're we're getting into this. Uh, fr Frozen for Nostalgia Critic. I'm the procrastinator. This is Cole. Also, also, 
Just want to point one thing out. I'm going to be uh, eating while this doing this reaction. I got, I got, I got a. Ow, 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 ow. Sorry, it's gone. I'm okay. I have a brownie. Uh, so uh, the story behind the brownie is, it's my dinner. Don't judge me, but this is actually this is actually my dinner. It's more hilarious when you, the more you think about it, because I did uh like I just got home from school. This is Monday night. Sleep four minutes away from nine o'clock. I'm tired, so if I, I don't seem as energetic or more energetic, so I'm not. Sometimes I get more energetic the more late it gets. But whatever. I'm tired now. Three minutes away from nine. <laughs> I'm tired. I don't. I did not want to make any food or do anything. I didn't even want to make, make a sandwich. But the hilarious part is, this brownie is a from a pack of like make your own brownie in the microwave. You literally put pour the thing, pour the stuff in. You probably know how it works. I just tried to find that I didn't want to make dinner, but I was okay making a snack dinner. And the best part is, I didn't make. I uh, this is a kind of experiment. I put two packs in here. It did not explode, so I had to keep an eye on it. I need a bigger bowl for two. But uh, yeah, uh, I'm gonna be eating that during the thing, so if you have a spoon. Sadly, I don't have milk, because I didn't think about it until I got down here and I didn't want to wipe back up, so I have a Gatorade bottle of water. That's my drink. This is this is my dinner. Um, I could have made extra food, but like I said, I'm too tired. But uh, just, one way no if you see me eating do that. Also next, I, I wanna be I wanna be the show more like a chill thing while I was just hanging out with you guys. So uh what I want you to do if you have not skipped already, pause right now. Like if you don't have if you do not have a snack, pause pause the video. Well, after I finish playing. Pause the video, go get you a snack or something, or just a dinner, order you order you a pizza. Then send then email me a slice. I don't know how that works, but I want you to do it. And they come back, we have a piece of dust. <laughs> Sorry, I saw a flying piece of dust. Just come back in about mm, however long it takes to get your food to get ready or snack. Come back, get settled down, just get relaxed and everything, and uh, we'll uh, do the thing. Okay, I'll, I'll give you a minute, okay? So just pause the video now. All right. So now that you now that you probably got your food there, hopefully maybe if you didn't, what is wrong with you? I don't want to, I don't want to feel bad for you know a person eating uh, in my house while my dog is asleep or whatever. But uh, yeah, got my brownie, got my spoon. I don't have a third hand, so I can't hold up the drink, and I don't have a fourth hand to hit play on the thing. Yeah. Okay, I'll put one of these down. I'll put the spoon. I'll put the brownie down. Still hot. Okay. So, uh, with this more of a chill, chill thing at whatever, we'll begin the video in three, two, one. <laughs> I could not do that one. I ran this out too late. Play. This episode brought to you by ExpressVPN, the best VPN there is. Take back your Actually, online privacy VPN. today. One thing, Al, that was loud. Al, that was louder! Dude, Brownie, good. If I knew what brand it was, I would tell you to go find it, but whatever. Oh, 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 oh. Merry Christmas! That's getting close to Christmas. Yeah. Hello on the Nostalgia Critic. Gotta uh, remember it so you don't have to. Has anybody talked about Frozen yet? <laughs> nope. <laughs> nope, nobody's talking about Frozen at all. <laughs> it's hard to believe that over six years ago, Frozen graced the big screen and became, let's be fair, Disney's biggest animated hit. Being the. Well, if one, I dropped my spoon. It was six years ago? I didn't actually know that. I thought, for some reason, I thought it was sooner than that. <laughs> I feel so long ago. I I'm getting old. Uh, what whatever, I'll continue my life crisis later. 
Stay in the video. The highest grossing animated movie of all time. No, no, no. That was the live action remake. Oh, you just yeah. have to film the backgrounds. Oh. Mm -hmm. Frozen has become a cultural phenomenon Disney mm -hmm. hasn't seen in years. Not that Disney has been particularly struggling, at least creatively, question mark, but an kind animated of, I've never seen any of the live action ones. Critics, music, and merchandise hasn't been seen like this from them since, well, the actual Lion animated King. Lion King. Yeah. The costumes are still huge, the songs are still sung. There's mm -hmm. still high demand to see a perfect stranger dress up like Elsa just so kids can sniff a snowflake of her soul. And now, with the sequel coming out, mm -hmm. which is pointless to see, you know I predicted it all already. There are reminders you everywhere did? that Frozen Win. is an abominable money-making snowman that no one can defeat. So years later, I naturally have to ask, was it really worth all that attention? I mean, yes, I like the was. film fine, but over the years, a strong backlash has formed around it. People mm -hmm. have asked with all the obsessing from kids and adults, was it really anything that special to hold in high regard? Was it truly a masterpiece or a lucky film that just happened to hit the right fads at the right time? Well, well it probably depends on what came out before. I don't know to look back and see what these movies were the good, the bad, the bad like, and the a year whatever we're this. doing here. Yeah, I'm not let's go either. back and see if it was all worth it. Probably. Most of no. it. This is. Some of it was. The film opens singing in a foreign language, which I think translates to the songs underrated, as we see a mm -hmm. little boy named Kristoff and his pet reindeer Sven helping out ice harvesters. Kristoff. Hey, must be a future Disney attraction somewhere. There it is. We see two mm. young princesses, Anna and Elsa, stay up late playing as Elsa has magical ice powers. Oh, no. Whee! <laughs> you know, with all those doctor games, how come there isn't one called Anna Has Frostbite? We're not getting to that, okay? Ow. hurts Anna with her powers as her parents take her to a medical expert or these butt ugly things. I just need to chill out, man. <laughs> Sorry, I can help with the first things? joke. Shush, I'm trying to do this song. Okay. Cuties, I'm gonna keep you. Kidnapping, yeah. The film has decided to find this cute. You are sure. lucky it wasn't her heart. I recommend yeah. you remove all magic, even memories of magic. Now many have pointed out the parents' choice of erasing magic from Anna's memory and keeping the sisters mostly separated is, oh, what's the term often used? What bad is this? Right, but I do argue this is more along the lines of how traditional fairy tale storytelling works. It's yeah. a means to an end. Why didn't Scar kill Simba earlier? Why didn't Ariel communicate through writing? Why was Aurora separated from her parents for years? All of Good these question. are simple solutions, but these problems further the themes, drama, and fantasy enough that many will let it slide. Do you? I wish something more logical was done while all- It's just that many will let it go. I'm so sad he didn't say that. But, oh well. Also furthering these elements, I'll absolutely. If you don't, if and I get why it bugs some people. But if Tarzan can say his name in perfect English, despite it being taught to him in ape. Tarzan. Yeah, think about it. How does that work? I think this earns a little wiggle room. Your power will only grow. Fear will be your enemy. <laughs> You're not really helping, dude. The lesson driven by fear to convince you to stop giving it to fear. Yeah. It looks like Elsa's makes powers are tied to her emotions. Haven't seen that done before this. Mm -hmm. I don't want to end on that one. Okay. As she's gloved up to go. hopefully keep her powers under control. Conceal it. Don't feel it. Don't, don't let it show. This is going to sound weird, but can she wear those as socks? Because her shoes don't do shit. Maybe there's a lot more that can be explored with her feet. You know what, Internet? I'm fine not diving into that. Yeah, that's what they Anna sings about building a snowman, but Elsa continues to keep herself locked away, afraid she might hurt her. I've started mm -hmm. talking to the pictures on the walls. Hang in there, Jones. Hi, Jones. <laughs> Never read a history book. Their parents go to create way too many oh. fan theories, but get lost at sea, leaving Anna and Elsa on their own. Three oh, years oh. go by, and Elsa is about to be crowned queen as she's finally turned 21. Yay! Oh, lady. This calls for a crowd of expositionists. Kind of. No, I didn't pronounce that wrong. I mean, people who literally say nothing but exposition. Arendelle. Best crowd mysterious ever. Mysterious trade partner. It's coronation day. I can't believe they're finally opening up the gate. The queen yeah. of age. I may unlock your secrets and exploit your riches. Are we ready? Yes. Good. On we go. Yay! I can't wait to see the queen and the princess. I bet they are beautiful. Yes. Yes, they are. Ha! Take that, 
Disney conforming to feminine beauty? Now quickly conform to feminine beauty. The window is open, so is that door. I didn't know they did that anymore. So Anna, played by Kristen Bell, sings about her excitement of finally opening up the palace doors. Why have a ballroom with no balls? So many jokes. While Elsa, yeah. played by is this joke dated, I don't care, needs a comeback, is dreading the opening of the palace doors. Conceal, don't feel. Put on a show. Still my favorite song. Ah, the words every Roland Emmerich movie begins with. After Almost had a bride too. Another magical princess, which given everything that puzzle. happens in this, pretty douchey she does nothing. Anna bumps into a prince named Hans and they seem to hit it off. Prince Hans of the Southern Isles. Be gone, Hans. Princess? My lady. Hmm, I have a sneaking suspicion that horse is up to something. We know Rapunzel is in this. He could be tied to the one from Tangled. That'd be great. It makes it to the coronation, which puts Elsa's biggest fear to the test. <clears throat> Your Take the gloves off. Gloves. Oh, no, I hate my hands. <laughs> I'm glad he got executed. I hate him. Just hold it, hold it. I know I no should be concerned it. that her powers will be revealed, but honestly, I'm just happy Miguel finally transitioned. Yeah, I can have fan theories too. She holds out long enough to be crowned whatever. queen as her and Anna are finally given some awkward but important sisterly time. This yeah. is what a party looks like. What is that amazing smell? Stop it! <laughs> Rossi, I can only have six years to think of a joke, and I still don't know how to react to that. I had my joke. I'm eating my joke. Dances clean. No. Uh, oh, we're doing this kind of humor. Okay. Barely. Guess we haven't really had the equivalent of the Six Flags guy for the two-year-olds yet. Fair enough. Oh, yeah, true. I've seen him forever. Glad I caught you. Anna meets up with Hans again, and they hey, sing Hans. about how they're spontaneously in love. No, yep. it's okay. It's supposed to be weird in this Disney movie. Mm -hmm. Our mental synchronization can have but one explanation. Welcome to either the best or worst duet you will encounter at every recital from now on. Hans yes, proposes, true. and Anna accepts as long as she can get the queen's blessing, which she does not give. No of course. getting married. Wait, what? You can't marry a man you just met. Yeah, Thank you. Apparently, people don't know that these are fairy tales, not to mm -hmm. be taken literally. So Disney's got to spell it Good out point. a bit more. Yep. The party is over. Close the gate. Please, I can't uh, live like this anymore. So we can. Then leave. Did she kick her yeah, out. I have to admit, I always thought that was a little too fast of a turn. Yeah. Like they just met up again after so after, long and like, suddenly years. she's telling her to piss off. It never quite felt right. Even I Anakin's mean, turn was like... Give me a second. That was a second. Okay, I'm in. I think it was just meant to speed up her outburst, which, speaking of, her emotions and powers get out of control as she's... I mean, I always kind of thought... I didn't really think it was that fast of a turn, because you can kind of tell there they that entire scene... With honor stuff, she just tried to get away. She tried to stay away from people. She lit. She was offered to dance by the we the weasel. She immediately pushed it off to Anna. She's trying to stay away from as many people as possible. Like I don't think she really even talked to that many people at the entire party. It's her party. So yeah, she's trying to get away as fast as possible because trying to stay hidden and all that. I mean, it didn't work so. Yeah, that's my take on the change. I thought it was a pretty good uh, time to change. Well, what even changed is her being her for right now. There was no change at all, just her. It's revealed <laughs> to the crowd who see her as a monster. This causes her to run away, putting the land uh, into permanent winter. And besides, since this was all her fault, she's the one that should go after her. Kind of her fault, I guess. I'm getting hurt. She's Look my off. sister. She would never hurt me. I disagree, but if you want to Jack Torrance herself, you do you. Well, she don't remember she that part. To find her while but whatever. Meanwhile, on a nearby mountain. The song. Sorry, that's the reaction every adult has now when they hear those five notes. I don't. I'm yeah, just weird. It's no mystery. This song has been overplayed and overheard to the point of madness. With countless covers on the internet, tons of merchandise with the song's title. I should make a cover of it. 1.8 billion hits on YouTube. First, I can top that with these. On the radio, they were like, "Oh, that, that's the song from Frozen, right?" Yeah. Man, I sure hope that little kids movie song gets the attention it deserves. And now, when you hear it, people are like, "Shut! Shoot it!" Shut up! Shut up! It must be different because I have objectifiably, objectifiably, it is a good song. 
I mean, the melody's catchy, the lyrics mm-hmm. poignant, the singing fantastic. Anyone that's had stress in their life, so everybody, can listen to it and connect it to breaking free in a grand True. way. I guess when you think of all the other songs you've heard to death and have been played way too many times, is this really the worst one to be stuck with for a while? I've been fine being stuck with this song. Fortress of Vice while the sun rises and her hair ignoring physical mass? Don't I worry feel about like it. This could be worse. Of all the yeah, songs could... annoyingly played millions of times over the years, I still stand by this is one of the better ones. Yeah, but we're done. I, I should enjoy it. But that doesn't mean it didn't sound really good the first time it was. I mean, I don't hear it that often, so it didn't bother anyway, me. It's gotta be better than Hakuna Matata. I will, I will end him eventually, maybe. Wait till the next Frozen 2. Wait till the Frozen 2 uh, review. I'll be there. <laughs> I'll be there. Probably shouldn't say that on camera, but whatever. I got a fourth of a cry left. I'm happy. I'm happy I don't believe because you. I have Express VPN. I thought about Ooh. how much time I spend using public Wi-Fi in hotels, cafes, airports, etc. Thanks, Abby. Did you know that without a VPN, I, I think I almost died. Steal your credit card info or passwords? That's not jiggy. I don't know why, but I look kind of orange a bit. And stare I can, my thing. Just because. Is it just me? And without a VPN, you're putting your personal I would fix it, but then I have to danger. fix it in post. All it takes is one time when a hacker could have enough information to video. steal your data. They can open up bank accounts in your name, access emails and your social media, all mm-hmm. because you didn't have ExpressVPN protection. No. Let them come. But that's why ExpressVPN encrypts your internet data. That's right, it's data. You're just wrong if you say data. But ExpressVPN is good at preventing others from sniffing your data. Call it data you're using a public Wi-Fi network. That A. ExpressVPN has the You're all wrong, it's that A. What am I sniffing? faster than other VPN providers. Oh. VPN oh, has secure boring. locations in 94 countries, giving you plenty of options to choose from. Apps for every Doug, device. what do you see out the window? iOS, Android, tell me. Mac, Linux, tell me. and more. Doug, I want tell me. more. It's easy to use. You can connect with just one click. There. Cool. That wasn't painful. It's in it cost money? without restrictions. <clears throat> Securely stream or download content from anywhere, anytime. No Does wonder it cost money? Market leading VPN. Rated number one VPN service by Tech Radar. I don't do stuff that costs money enough and often. I'm a cheap person. It's less than $7 a month with a 30 day money. That's a lot of money to me. I like to use it because I always feel protected. When I go to hotels, I'm never afraid that anything's gonna happen to my I feel pretty protected. And Possibly. because I'm so happy right now, I'm willing to Phone, make you a protected? special offer. By clicking said, on yeah. the link in the description box, you can take back your internet privacy today and find out how you can get three months free. Just Yay. go to expressvpn.com slash nostalgia critic. That's mm, expressvpn.com slash nostalgia critic. Where you I said, can think about it. how to get three months free and take back your privacy today with ExpressVPN. I'm happy. Everyone's happy. I'm not happy. I'm kind of depressed. Uh, I'll be fine later. I got brownie. Fuck! This, this video is brought to you by brownie. Don't get one. Thank you. More proficient. We barely get halfway to the movie. travels all day until it becomes dark and she finds an old shop. You know be wondering why they had this short bit of her in the day only to cut to night, especially when they could have just had it all happen the exact same night. Because Light of well, Day was a lyric in the last song we heard, and there is no way they are passing on a whimsical money shot like this. Disney. True. We shit these scenes. She's fine. Can't count She's the number of illnesses frozen. the cold would have given her in that outfit, so let's just say all. Are we on the games? No, Sven. I didn't get your carrots. She comes across Kristoff, who's now all grown up. Hey, you need to get some Sven can talk to him. Every one of them's bad, except you. Oh, thanks, buddy. This already has me rethinking how many Disney characters are just imagining colorful characters talking to them. But seeing how a reindeer has a lifespan of 10 years and they were kids together, I'm wondering if Sven is even alive. Sven, don't you think I'm around? Don't, don't do it to me, dude. That's once again true. For all the No, 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 not call it a night. Just let him dream. 
Anna convinces him to take her up uh, the mountain to find Elsa, where she talks about her love, Hans, and their sporadic romance. What's his last name? Of the Southern Isles. My color. Dreamy. What size? What size doesn't matter. Hey, the only reason this movie has a PG rating definitely yep. belongs in the same ranks as this. Definitely. Rating system still a joke. They're attacked well, by wolves, movie. but they fight them off, losing the sled. On top of uh, that, they come across a snowman Elsa accidentally uh, gave light uh, to. Sorcerers do this all the time. Galadriel mm -hmm. accidentally farted hobbits. And it looks like his name is Olaf, played by Josh Gad. Did Elsa build you? Yeah, why? Do you know where she is? Yeah, why? Well, I can't act like he doesn't get a hint annoying from time to time. He I'll does have it. a few jokes that really do land. Oh, look at that. I've been impaled. And I, I have to give credit, life. while most Disney comic relief are very loud and stupid, this character is at least very quiet and stupid. A kid imitating him would probably be more whispery than, say, imitating Mushu. Dishonor on you! Dishonor on your kid! Yep. Dishonor on you! Thought occurs to me, I shouldn't have children. <laughs> it is also wonderfully surreal to see him sing about what he thinks Snow does in summer, which is lay on burning sand, take a hot tub, and grind a film story to a complete halt. But again, it is a little fun. In yes, very slow. I'm gonna tell him. Don't you dare. And while oh, you're okay. at it, don't tell me what Elsa Gate is. I, I just know it's bad. What? They climb all day and eventually reach Elsa's palace. Whoa. Whoa. That's ice. Don't start with the ice puns, man. The Olympic champion cannot be beat. The Iceman cometh. Once you start, it's a slippery slope. Yeah. See, I'm doing it! Anna confronts Elsa. I've already done it. I'm, I'm close, well, okay? Well, we've ripped off Wicked a few times, and now we have their star, so we can rip them off a bit more. Yes, I'm alone, but I'm alone and free. And if I'm flying solo, at least I'm flying free. Well, what'd you think they were going to take from the Snow Queen? Probably no. <clears throat> deep, 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 deep Trouble snow. snow. See, I almost That's said shit, but I good. think that we could have gotten away with it, too, because we're PG. Yeah. Elsa doesn't know That's what to so do, good, gets dude. emotional, and ends up hurting Anna again. Oh. Seems like every woman you try to save ends up dead. <laughs> Elsa makes a snow monster to throw them out as he chases like, them down bye. the mountain. Now the face to fight Kingdom Hearts. Build me now, bitch. Yes. They escape, but they realize Anna's hair is getting whiter. So Crystal oh, takes her to the rock biter's ball fungus. <laughs> What's going on? I've learned to just roll with it. <laughs> it's fair for every half a dozen fun scenes, you gotta take a little kick to the testicles. By Disney standards, that's pretty good. I'm fine with it. I'm fine with little stall jokes. And sometimes you gotta take a little more. Yeah, time for everybody's least favorite song, sung by everybody's least favorite characters. Again, I know I've heard more annoying Disney tunes, but this one really does stop the story in its tracks and offer pretty much no laughs. At least the Olaf song had a few light giggles. This one has the fast forward sign imprinted on your screen because you've skipped past this song so much. Do you, Anna, take Kristoff to be your troll for the Maybe. What? You're getting married. You know that what? thing we made a big deal not doing after knowing a guy for a day? We're doing that. Well, she thought of her whole night. Very strange. Where were you during all this? I was in the back reading stale Smurf Hooters monthly. Of course. It's kind of what I do whenever that song plays. He tells them that only an act of true love can fix a frozen heart, so Kristoff insists that they take her back to Hans, who's considerably on his way to kill her sister. Of course, true love. True love kills That's all. That's right, I forgot I'm awesome. Yep. She knocks herself out on the camera and wakes up in prison. Kristoff gets Anna home and instructs the savvy. servants to take her to Hans. Find Prince Hans immediately. We will. Thank you. You deserve a just reward. Well, goodbye. Bye, Kristoff. You have to kiss me. What? Now. Oh, now. Slow down. Oh. This leads to arguably the most polarizing but um part of the movie. Hans reveals he's actually the villain. If only there was. He's got an ice cold, cold heart, man. Now, Barely. here's the thing. At first, I didn't really like this because it just felt like another Disney surprise <clears throat> villain, which they've surprise. been way too many of recently. And on top of that, this movie was doing fine without a real villain. Mm -hmm. It was kind of refreshing to get away from the basic good versus evil storyline. But then I thought about it. Elsa's problem is that she shut herself out and won't let anyone get close. Anna's mm -hmm. problem is that she wears her emotions on her sleeve and will let anyone get close. Both oh. of these are increasingly bigger problems, especially online. 
you often hear about someone yeah. getting fooled or manipulated on the internet because they were too giving of themselves. Hell, there's literally a hit show about it. But on the other hand, you hear about people who stay in and never talk to people, finding comfort in their echo chambers and never going out into the real world. I do because both. Of this, I've actually really grown to like Hans as the bad guy. It's a legit mm -hmm. surprise. I honestly thought he was fleshed out enough to be a funny and charming character. And it oh. hammers home the problem of being too giving with your emotions and not being careful with who you trust. Elsa True. needs to open up, Anna needs to pull back. And it works best if we're as shocked as she is that someone betrayed her. As long mm. as there's no corny villain lines like she says, you won't get away with this. And he says, I already have. Yeah, that's lame, but you know, you take Ow. a few. Olaf okay, helps Anna I'll escape as she continues to turn and everybody meets up on the lake. She sees Hans about to kill Elsa, so she sacrifices herself, letting the ice consume her. I was frozen today! Yeah, you wouldn't kill you. me if I didn't put that in. You're right. <laughs> I'll reframe putting my tongue on her to see if it sticks. I this counts as an act uh -huh. of true love as it melts Anna free and Elsa realizes, yeah. for lack of a better term, love conquers all. Love. Love warm love. I send you to Chicago. Just arrive whenever Yay. you want. October if you like. Oh, oh, oh. Olaf is given his own personal flurry. Yay. Hans is given his own personal meme. And I'm still convinced <clears throat> Kristoff is dragging around a dead animal. Don't do it to me. Will you marry me? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Elsa is in more control of her powers, the relationship Somehow. between her and Anna is stronger, and Olaf went on to be everyone's favorite part of Coco. Okay. So that was Frozen, one of Disney's biggest movies of all time. How does yeah, it hold I still up? like it. It's still really, really good. Mm-hmm. For Disney. I know that sounds weird as they're the pioneers in animation, but technology-wise, nothing that new is done. In terms of story and characters, nothing <clears throat> really that new is done either. I mean, their biggest breakthrough is you don't have to marry someone you just met. I feel like other animated films have gone way beyond that. But with True. that said, it just does the job of having charming characters and engaging story, hummable songs, and even some updated lessons that tie into modern day problems. You could argue a lot of this is about overcorrecting, how the parents overcorrected separating them, how Elsa mm -hmm. overcorrected shutting people out, and how Anna overcorrected being too social. Is this one of the great animated movies? Objectifiably, I think there's better stories and bigger groundbreakers, but I still think it's really, really good and showcases no, a lot of great talent comes on that really again. worked their asses off to make something millions Every other of time. people strongly connect with. Is it way too all over the place? Yeah, Probably. but I can see why it is. I can see why not everyone gets on board the Frozen train, but I have to admit, I'm always gonna have a special place for it in my Frozen heart. I'm gonna stop up. I hey, Excuse me, I got a hunger for some donuts. Mm, I don't like donuts. Well, you know what he should have instead? Donuts. He should have brownies. Brownies are better than donuts. Subjectively, I guess. But I also give you saying commercials be next. Or really, I don't know. Near the end. Either this week or next week is a. Uh... Sorry, I have missed a... Next week or this week will be when he does the commercials. Probably next week, probably. Uh, no, probably next week. Oh, well, this week. That came out last week. He talked about it, so it should be coming out this week. Hey, it's like the commercial thing eventually if I did my math correctly. Also, I'm upset I didn't finish my brownie. I got like a little bit of it left, but I will finish it while doing my wrap up thing or whatever. But I did like it as a review a lot. I'm real set. I'm actually upset I ran out of ice bones. I only have one. I just want bread right now. But, uh, yeah, I like the review. I. I agree with some things. I actually do do like his little spin on Hans thing. I did not think about Anna as far as the story or alert lesson thing at all. I was just thinking about Elsa. Hmm, so that's actually a good, uh, good point to make, I think. I've, I've been both, pretty much. But keep people out and let, let people in at weird rates or whatever. I don't know. I don't even know how it's going to word that, but whatever. 
Yeah, I, I've definitely done that in my younger days. Younger me was an idiot. A very, very idiotic idiot. But, uh, so yeah, I, I do, do like that little thing. I'm, I'm sad we didn't get to see Olaf picking the lock with his nose. I'm more amused that I actually remember that now. But, uh, whatever. I'm, I'm flipping through the thing real fast. See if there's anything I actually want. I flipped to one of the things where you show one of the Frozen games. Has anyone ever played those? Those Dr. Dennis Foot Doctor things? What's, foot, what's a Foot Doctor? Ortho, orthodontic? Um, oh, okay, I'll look that up now. Foot Doctor. Can't spell. Took me too long to spell Doctor. Foot Doctor called. Podi uh, Podiatrist. Podia Podiatric. I'm not familiar. I give up. I can't. I can't. I can't. Can't read. Speak right now. Speak. Read. Cannot do. So uh, yeah. I got a text. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah. I uh, really like like this review. Still, I'm still going. I wonder if I would watch the watch the Frozen before I get to see the Frozen Two. Oh yeah, let me know. Are you guys gonna see Frozen Two when it comes out? Uh, per, um, this Friday. If so, let me know in the comments down below. And also, after you see the movie, I don't know what I'm doing with my hand. I think I'm, I think I'm calling you a loser. I'm sorry for that, but you're a loser. I'm a loser too, because technically I I, te I technically get a reverse thing. I get the L as well. We're we're just we're just a bunch of losers, okay? But yeah. Uh, after you go see the movie on Friday, come back to this video if you if you can, and tell me what you thought of it. Okay, I'll probably put what I might make a video of what I think of it. Maybe I don't know, but I want to hear. I want to know what you guys think of it. Well, tell me what you think of this movie first, and then come back after the other movie. Uh, either edit your comment or make a new one. Tell me what you thought of the new one, cause some I don't know. I want. I just want to hear from people. See, see what they think about this movie. I mean, yeah, it is definitely been overplayed. And what got way too famous way too fast. I wish I knew that feeling. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it, it got big and all that. But I think the reason I didn't really have a problem with, with it was for one, I actually I liked it a good amount. And two, I didn't see it, I did not see it or hear it as much as everybody else did. Like uh, I stay away from some, some things are acts by accident sometimes. So I think I just stayed away. See, only enough times to where I'm still okay with it, just not tired out by it or anything. Like, I think I only saw it. I think I've only seen the movie, like, probably five times or so, more or less. I could be wrong. It could be a bit more or less. I already said more or less, but still. But I think that's what kind of why I don't get tired of it and whatever. And, and I don't really care about toys and stuff like that, so it doesn't matter to me. Or, and I actually like the music, so, hey, I was fine with it. Maybe it's just me. Um, or maybe it's just, maybe it's just because I'm like so pop, just like I like about it, anything. So that's probably it. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna go. Hope to see you guys later. Hope you guys enjoyed. It. You guys actually ate a snack during, during the reaction. If you did not eat a snack, go in the comments down below. And tell me why you didn't eat a snack. Okay, this must be a relaxed time between me and you and uh, this duck right here. I'm more amazed I grabbed him without even looking at him. But. Yeah, it's supposed to be a relaxing time between uh, between all three of us. A, fa a family video, if you will. Family dinner snack thing. It can literally be dinner or a snack. It cannot be breakfast or lunch because, like I said, this is my dinner right now. So it can be dinner or snack. D dinner dessert. Just, I can't just call it dessert. Dinner dessert. Whatever. But, uh, yeah, if you, did, if you didn't do it, tell me why. I won't know. If you did do it, tell me what you ate because I... Maybe I'll try it eventually. I'm, I'm very open to food, except for fish. I, I'm not really a fan of seafood for some reason. I mean, I know my reason, but I don't want to get into it right now. But whatever. Whatever. We're going. We're going. I'm going to go. And I hope to see you guys later. And goodbye.